And for the home team, down to five on the shot clock. Number seven buries it from three-point range. And that's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Inside, it's stolen, and here they come. Fires from the wing. Number six. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. Well, you know, when they need a big three, he's the guy they look to. He's about as reliable a deep threat as, as you're going to find. Very true. And what I notice with him is his ability to jump on teams right out of the break. I mean, he doesn't need a ton of shots to get going. He's locked in by nature. First one falls for him. He hits both from the strike. Boy, that was solid. I'll tell you, he's one of the best there is up there at the foul line. We're about one minute into the first. Number nine. Off target from outside. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hey, Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. It's rebounding that he thinks could be the X factor today. He told me that it doesn't matter what they do in other aspects of the game if they get dominated on the backboards, which is always a possibility against a team that puts so much effort into their rebounding. Guys? Great, Doris. Thank you. It's not necessarily an overlooked part of the game, but rebounding can affect everything else you do. And that one's good. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Six on the shot clock. Number four. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. from three-point range. Gone two for four from the field so far today. They set the pick to the middle. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. It. 36 seconds left to play in the first quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. We've got 22 seconds left in the first. Number 11. And that one goes long. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. Number six. And we reach the end of the first quarter. The away team up by... And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Yeah, the defense has been terrific. They came out right from the beginning, alert and focused. And they've been really good at that end of the floor. And I think Coach has to be pleased with the effort, Steve. Releases from 15. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And the first one drops. He's perfect from the line this time. Number seven. 
kept alive. Lock at six. Number four. Number seven. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Great job. Take him right at the defense. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, he left him no choice but to foul there. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Number four misses in close. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Number ten ripped away. To the paint. Jen. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. One oh three left in the second quarter. Five on the clock. Inside leaner. Good on the jump shot. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Number nine nails it from the high post. After digging themselves that hole in the first quarter, this club is starting to shoot the ball much better now. Yeah, you know, sometimes it takes a little while to work out the knots. I mean, they're starting to put it together. Number six. Number nine. Off target at the rim. Well defended, and he's not someone who responds well to that kind of defensive pressure. And the first half is now in the books. The away team leading by six. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Now, presented by Sprint. Coming to you this evening from the 2K Sports Studios, this is the Halftime Report. Some good basketball for the away team, and defensively, they've done a good job grabbing rebounds, limiting second chances. And the home club still hanging in there. A gritty, hard-nosed effort. They're hungry for the win. They're making their own luck. That'll wrap things up for me here in the studio. Thanks so much. I'm Damon Bruce. Now let's get back out to Kevin Harlan for the second half of play. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. 
The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. at six. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. Backing in. Number five. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And he makes the first. goes in. Two from the line that time. Six to shoot. the work there contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy but they forced the miss you know what he got it in close but couldn't finish in traffic the finger roll finish at the bucket even with the d lurking he made it look easy with the soft finger roll yeah and guys i think he feels like he can make a few improvements during this timeout just kind of make it a couple of adjustments get his club back on track you know coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things mid-game Actually, sometimes they overdo it. There's a minute 40 left in the third quarter of the game. Number 11 drills the three-pointer. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. Just five to shoot. Number 11. The offensive rebound. A guy like him cannot be left alone around the hoop. If you do, it'll be buffet style all day long. Plenty of seconds right there. Gone two of three from the field to start the second half. 51 seconds left in the third. Number 11. Buries the long range jumper. He has six. He's got a nice stroke from long range and where he's not likely to pass up those opportunities when he gets them. the screen no one near him can't get it to go he'll advise shot selection right there Clark it really was I mean very low percentage shot there and we've watched three so far all right we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle fourth quarter should be good
The tray. Good. Three-point shot has been a real weapon for them in the second half. Yeah, they sure have gotten hot from out there. The putback jam. Oh, he had some big time intentions right there. And those plays will give your team a huge boost. Number four. And there's the rejection. Here's the break. And he drops him away up off the glass. They're doing their best to erase the deficit here with some smart passes and some good shooting. I mean, those two things go hand in hand. If you're going to make shots, then the passes have to be on target and on time. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He's looking for whatever they have left in the tank. He said, I know it's been a hard-fought game, but now's not the time to leave anything in reserve. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I expect you to be going all out full speed. Guys? All right, Doris. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. Two-possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. Oh, oh boy, he is just cold as ice. I don't think he's going to be the one to help them cut into the lead. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. Boy, still waiting for their first miss from the foul line this half. 100% since halftime, is that right? I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon if that keeps up. The free throws go down and the lead goes up. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Number four. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Yeah, he absorbed the foul and had a chance to knock it down. And that's all you can ask right there. I like that play. At the one for two. And no good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And the second of two is good. That turns the lead to six. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Being 39% from the floor. Not their best. 54 seconds left in the game. They set the pick. No good with the way. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. Fires for three. Buries it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And he came off that screen. The defense just couldn't get over the top. Beautiful play. Yep, and without a hand in his face, he's going to bury those. 
We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, you got the lead. Burn some clock here. Smart move. Yep. Number six. Number nine. Sinks it. And with that basket, you'd have to think this lead is safe. Well, if not 100% safe, certainly 95%. What do you think, guys? Now they're going to attack the rim, try to get a quick shot, and then foul immediately. Uh, it probably will be too little, too late. Yeah, I agree. It's a major long shot, but we've seen stranger things happen, Steve. Three from the inbound. No good. And so the road team gets the W in this one. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Doris Burke, Steve Curry.